Thank you all for coming. The commencement ceremony for the coming School of Architecture shall now begin. Everyone, please be seated. Welcome, everyone, including many family members and friends who have traveled long distances to be here. It's been, a great, it's been great for all of us to work together with all of uh, today's graduates toward your achievements here over several years, in some cases, many years, and to share the great community of the school together over your years here and into the future. And now here uh, with all of your family and friends gathered together too. Thank you so much to every, all the families for making the trip. Thanks for being here. Following this, this uh, school commencement ceremony here, we will have the unveiling of the names of this year's graduates in the main atrium of the school, in the alumni circle. This is where every name uh, is etched of all of the graduates uh, of our school since the early 1980s. And today's crew is, is, uh, is ready to be unveiled. There is also a dedication quote there in the alumni circle from 20th century architect Antonin Raymond which I hope is particularly appropriate for today, where if he were here, he would say, now homage to our ancestors, faith in the rising young. This statement is both an appreciation and a commitment to you all. We believe in you and have great hopes for you to advance the innovation and stewardship and care for the environment that you all are capable of and which is so much needed. For our graduates, we look forward to your collaboration and, and your welcome of future members of the school as well, as so many alumni engage with the school in many different ways after graduation, including teaching here in many cases. Our school has been dedicated to an ethic of balance between creation and conservation, individual and community, local and global, aesthetic and technical, working among uh, ourselves and with many partners, for the benefit of those we interact with, for the public good in general, and for the environment overall. The dynamics among these foster relevance, and we can hope some degree of progress that also seems needed on many fronts involving our disciplines and our professions, which will allow you all to emerge and achieve all the pot potentials you possess. It's so clear and important that education and any of our activities also involves development of our commitments and our values, what matters to us, who we care for, our hearts for the benefit of all. Your work, some of which is exhibited in the hallways of the school for commencement today, and how you work together have been dedicated to the values that you've developed while you've been here. The compelling sense of, of fellowship that you all have, the balance of heart and skill that characterize our community will sustain you and those who you engage with into the future, hopefully as we stay connected. Remember Roger Williams, the person, and this place. Thank you all for coming today and all these years and for being part of this community. We hope the best of this place, the new understandings and friendships and expansions you experienced here will travel with you wherever you go. You are at the heart of this place and your names are at the center of our building, which we will visit in a little while for the unveiling. Thanks so much for coming. I think uh, it was the best, best school ever, I believe. Um, we have a few, uh, or I have a, uh, at least one uh, a couple of recognitions uh, before we go through all of the recognitions uh, of all of our, many of our graduates today. Uh, the first one is the Core Values Medallion, which we will award in a slightly different way, and you'll see when we get there. Uh, the President's Core Values Medallion has been established to recognize graduating seniors who best reflect the university's core values through distinctive contributions supporting the purposes of Roger Williams University. To strengthen society through engaged teaching and learning is the primary goal. It is an honor to present the Core Values Medallion recipient from the School of, Ar from the School of Architecture uh, for the class of 2023. 20 We'd like to ask Grace Amoruso to come up, please. Yeah. 
And in recognition of the, well, let's give it up. In, in recognition of some of the dimensional challenges of the size of the medal and the size of her mortar board, she already has her medal on, and I will simply shake her hand. Uh, at our school's recent undergraduate awards ceremony held on April 26th, and then at the graduate reception and awards event held this past Monday in Providence, the school recognized the achievements of this graduating class, and we'd like to acknowledge those recipients here today. To announce the awards in architecture, please welcome Associate Professors Olga Mesa and Nathan Fash, co-directors of architecture. Thank you. Thank you, Steve, and thank you all. Um, hello, everyone. There are a number of awards in architecture. When your name is called, uh, please stand and remain standing until all the students who are receiving awards are recognized. So we're very happy to um, start with the Graduate Students Awards. Um, the AIA Medal of Excellence goes to Carly Cording. The Alpha Rho Chi Medal goes to Gabrielle Deshane. The Thesis Honor Award for the Fall. Amanda Thisdale. The Thesis Honor Award for the Spring. Thomas Gallagher. <laughs> The Thesis Award for the Fall. Delena Erickson. And the Thesis Award for the Spring. Caleb Hayward and Olivia Mora. Thesis Commendation. Carly Cording and Junior Lamour. The Edward Allen Award granted by Building Technology Educator Society. Goes to Michael Donovan. <laughs> and now for the undergraduate senior academic, academic excellence in architecture. Goes to Grace Amoruso. Okay, and everyone, please join us in giving this wonderful group of students a beautiful round of applause. Congratulations. To recognize the awards in art and architectural history, please welcome Dr. Randall Van Scapen, Associate Professor and Director of Art and Architectural History. Hello. I have one award to give today to, uh, for academic excellence to a senior, and that goes to Abigail Sargent. Abigail, would you stand up? Where are you? Uh, to recognize the awards in preservation studies and preservation practices, please welcome the extremely recently promoted Dr. Elaine Stiles, now associate professor with tenure and program director in preservation studies and preservation practices. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, the first award in preservation practices for academic excellence at the graduate level goes to Mary Persico. Please stand up. Uh, 
Um, the award in, in preservation practices for public service at the graduate level goes to Megan Veach. And our final award for Senior Academic Excellence in Preservation Studies at the undergraduate level goes to Wilhelmina Kesey. <laughs> so please join me in giving them one more um, round of applause to congratulate these students. Thank you. Please welcome Associate Professor Roberto Viola Ochoa, who is the advisor to our Beta Tau chapter of Tau Sigma Delta Honor Society. Roberto. I'm going to blush. Um, <laughs> the Tau Sigma Delta is a national honor society in architecture and the allied arts and recognizes intellectual achievement, effort, and initiative, as well as leadership and character. Each year, the Tau Sigma Delta member schools acknowledge undergraduate and graduate students who attain a high scholastic standing in their field by considering applicants who have achieved a minimum of a 3.0 GPA and are in the top 20 of their class. Will the students whose names are indicated in the program and have been inducted into Roger Williams University, University's Beta Tau chapter of Tau Sigma Delta Honor Society, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Be seated. Thank you. We now proceed to the chief purpose of these commencement exercises, the conferring of academic degrees upon the class of 2023, beginning with master students. Students receiving degrees today will be hooded by the co-directors of the programs as they process for their degrees. The formal hooding of students receiving advanced degrees is a centuries old practice and signifies achievements in their chosen field of study. Master students' hood, in, hoods include a, a wide velvet band in a color denoting, denoting the academic area in which their degree is held. Architecture graduates have a velvet band that is the color orchid or light purple. Preservation practices students' color is olive green. Will the Cummings School of Architecture Master of Architecture students, please rise. Uh, I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their area of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated to the president by the board of trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Associate Dean Greg Laramie uh, will greet you first and read your names as, as you move across. Uh, program directors uh, Mesa and Fash will hood the, the architecture graduates and then I will get to give them their degrees. Thanks very much. Douglas James Brown II, Master of Architecture. There's probably going to be a lot of hugging going on up here. <laughs> Nora Ashley Brigham, Master of Architecture. Cody Paul Bellucci, Master of Architecture. Yeah. 
Adriana Marina, Master of Architecture. Anakin Lee Geisler, Master of Architecture. Carissa Claire Pyros, Master of Architecture. Jocelyn Marie Lyford, Master of Architecture. Jared Dalton McGowan, Master of Architecture. Vincent Michael Fauci, Master of Architecture. Gabrielle Robin Deschains, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Jonathan Paul Rigo, Master of Architecture. Michael Joseph Welch, Woo! Master of Architecture. <laughs> Justin Dylan Bridgeke, Master of Architecture. Michael Joseph Diskowski, Master of Architecture. Reso R. Vidas Serrazzo, Jose, Master of Architecture, Jose. Thomas Gallagher, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Olivia Marie Mora, Master of Architecture. Amanda Thisdale, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Delena Kimberly Erickson, Master of Architecture. Eva Marie Anna Alessandroni, Master of Architecture. Carly Anna Corden, Master of Architecture.
Robert Francis Ward III, Master of Architecture. Cameron E. Mixner, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Stefan Robert Cole, Master of Architecture. Lahia Lisette Ronke, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Adam Truman Royal, Master of Architecture. Brianna Lee Valcourt, Master of Architecture. Alicia McDermott, Master of Architecture. <laughs> Michael James Donovan, Master of Architecture. Rebecca Nicole Thompson, Master of Architecture. Fied Lucine Jr. Lamour, Master of Architecture. Christian Anton Zayden, Master of Architecture. Julio Lorenzo Romero, Master of Architecture. Justine Marie Aho, Master of Architecture. Mark Anthony Rule, Master of Architecture. Mariel Hannah Bloom, Master of Architecture and Master of Science in Preservation Practices. <laughs> oh, 
Alyssa Ray Bailey, Mario Master of Science in Preservation Practices. Colleen Maher Hemeyer, Master of Science in Preservation Practices. Avery Elizabeth Corcoran, Master of Science, Preservation Practices. Mary Frances Persico, Master of Science, Preservation Practices. Megan E. Veach, Master of Science, Preservation Practices, J.D. Law. <laughs> Shen Li, Master of Science, Preservation Practices. So congratulations to all of these master's degree holders. Our undergraduate students today wear a hood signifying their graduation with, a, with their bachelor's degree and permanent connection to Roger Williams community. These hoods bear the Roger Williams colors of white and light blue. We would like to acknowledge the students who have their distinction of graduating with honors. Will the students graduating summa cum laude with a cumulative grade point average of 3.8 or higher Please stand if you are able to be congratulated. <laughs> Will all the students graduating magna cum laude with a cumulative grade point average of 3.6 please stand. Look at that. And finally, will all students graduating cum laude with a cumulative grade point average of 3.4 or higher please stand if you are able. We're all so proud of all of your accomplishments. Will the coming School of Architecture Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts candidates please rise. Such a, such a fine group. <laughs> As before, I am pleased to certify that these candidates are eligible for the degrees appropriate to their course of study. By virtue of the authority granted by the state of Rhode Island and delegated by the president to the president by the board of trustees, we confer upon you the degree to which you are entitled with all of the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. Will the candidates please come forward? Associate Dean Laramie will read their names and uh, we will not hood them. So we will read, this will be a little faster. We won't be hooding them. Uh, so thanks, thanks for coming and let's get this party started. Thank you. Grace Marie Amoroso, 
summa cum laude. Congratulations. Lorena Mariana Grandfors, magna cum laude. Emily Taylor Berry. <laughs> Abigail Grace Aruda, cum laude. <laughs> Matthew Liam Herman. <laughs> Ryan A. DeSantis. <laughs> Magna cum laude. Thank you. Nicole Zabrowski, magna cum laude. Nicholas Edmund Joyelli. Martin Francis Curley. Angela Mary Pirelli. <laughs> Rachel Ann Ronsky. <laughs> John M. Blair. <laughs> Rachel Margaret Toole. Maria Isabel Cruz Pina. Jack G. Ryan, cum laude. Andrew Paulo Gavea, cum laude. Jasmine Doris Dezekin. Cum laude. Thank you. Ethan Paul Medeiros, magna cum laude. Thank you. Samuel Joseph Whiffen. <laughs> Megan Christina Uleski. Rose Noreen Walsh. Benjamin Robert Bariso. Natalie Doris Campanella, magna cum laude. Alexa Nicole Dominger. <laughs> Bodhi Ibrahim. <laughs> Ryan Morgan Durea. Joseph David DiPaolo, magna cum laude. Brooke Elizabeth Dutton, summa cum laude. Sophia Studley. Brian Bruce Mishi Trujillo. Did you eat this? Mason William Lance, cum laude. Emily Maria Soares, cum laude. Oh 
Alexander Hillmeyer. Ethan Joseph Izzo. Logan Robert Gibbs. Abraham Moss, magna cum laude. Erica Cotter Pearson. Abigail R. Sargent, cum laude. Wilhelmina Winslow Gisi, summa cum laude. Helena Maria, Helena Marie Mott, cum laude. Audrey Ann Barnard. Thank you. Camilla Rose LeBron. Nathan Andrew Cormier. Catherine Ross Tello. Malcolm Whitaker Wells. Luke James Strand. Leah Marie Werty, cum laude. Caitlin Marie Jennings. Christos Fotis Mustapolis. Logan Alexander Marmer. Zachary LaPlante. Kyle Bertram Clifton. Evan Robert Wenchel. Lucas Anthony Kayser. <laughs> Megan Nicole Ripa. <laughs> Daniel Andres Romero, cum laude. Nathan Robert Power, magna cum laude. Naomi Catalina Cruz Guzman, cum laude. <laughs> Catherine Rizzola, magna cum laude. Delia Dickinson McGuire, summa cum laude. <laughs> Kayla Lee Costa, magna cum laude. Thank you. Jenna Lynn Salisbury.
Eliana Samantha Greenstein Himley, magna cum laude. Janae Baker. Daniel, Danielle Ann Ivy. Abigail E. Degler, cum laude. Sarah L. Smithline. Rachel M. Kane, cum laude. Alicia Rose Vincelli, cum laude. Kylie Elaine Irwin, cum laude. Thank you. Lauren Heidi Patnout, cum laude. Thomas James Lakovich. Garrett Douglas Deutsch. Yarden Sackett. Anthony Edward Petruzzo. Cum laude. Austin Jarvis. Mauricio Hector Escalante Valencia, magna cum laude. Joseph Thomas Bucci. Matthew Robert Carlson. Magna cum laude. Noah Allen Ellingwood. Andrew Luke Hall, cum laude. Joseph Strano. Nicholas David Lamontagne. Let's give everyone one more round of applause to all our graduates. Who said Shea was louder? <laughs> Congratulations to all the graduates. We are just about done with these commencement ceremonies today. We'd like to remind you that uh, there is a display of work, if you haven't already seen it in the building, um, of these graduate students, and we'd like you all to see it. Uh, we'd like you also to see the class of 2023 alumni plaque in the alumni circle. Uh, in which all of today's graduates' names have been inscribed. On behalf of the university, thank you for joining us here today and celebrating these commencement exercises, which have now come to an end. I will now ask the audience to please stand and remain at your seats until all members of the recessional, including our graduates, have exited the tent. And remember, we love you madly.